taking nothing less than what I deserve at this point. I've been through so much set stuff. Your, set your standards. Oh, my standards are so, so high. Nobody, I mean, go ahead. <laughs> no, my <laughs> nobody. Boots, dog food, water from the dog, bowls, bag, your bags, everything's good. All right. All right, y'all. This is the beginning of a trip. This is the beginning of a, a time in L.A. We got a baile, Martinissimo, 2023. A lot of other stuff to do, so let's go. In there. Don't fucking make fun of my contraption. So basically, um, I like to go to LA, specifically Pico Rivera, once a month to go dance at the bailes. And I've been planning since since January to go to Nortenisimo 2023. Uh, Norte, Nortenisimo is a, a Norteña's like baile, uh, and I've been planning on going since uh, last month. But the uh, I've made a video on TikTok. Uh, because some guy posted that nobody showed up to his birthday party and so I made a video on TikTok stitched with his and I was like hey man like I'm inviting you out to Nortenissimo you can be with me like I buy, I'll buy your entry f entry fee you can hang out with me have a great ass time we can have a huge party and that video skyrocketed so fast I mean I think it has over a million views now but basically what we're doing is we're going down to North, uh, going down to SoCal but like during the whole two week span that I've had this video out, I, I'm heading down for a podcast now, you know, I'm, I'm going down for a bunch of other things, uh, apparel, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on, I want to meet all my people that love me, I, I'm, I'm very open to meeting people, I don't care if anybody's crazy, if I die, I die, um, but yeah, we're going down specifically for North Anissimo 2023. Well, if you're dumb and you drink a smart water, that's cool too, right? Because it might make you smarter. What you got? I have to like anytime you're in a truck stop gas station, you always have to get the cotton swabs. Okay, always. It's like a must. So from now on, if you ever see me in a gas station, like on video, I'm getting cotton swabs just cause. <laughs> I'm always advertising that I'm looking for love. And baby girl, if you need a man to pump your gas for you. I know how. You look cold, man. I might look cold, but uh, I got a warm heart. I didn't plan to be like an influencer. It just kind of like happened. But I feel like the worst part is like, I'm such a people pleaser, like, and I, I care about people that I'll respond to messages. And the thing is, is like, it's the reason, the reason I do that is because let's say there's a Instagram model who's like beautiful as hell and I slide in her DM. Now I know she read it because I know, like we check our DMs, right? But she's not gonna respond for the whole thing of like, I want people to want me, right? And I feel like the hardest thing for me is like responding to the direct messages and like being there and present so much, like it kind of takes away from my life, like my personal life and like what I'm doing in a day. But I do it specifically for those people that are like hoping for a response so they feel like, wow, this guy's actually there, which is true, like, I'm actually there, like, I'm actually present, I'm actually seeing everything, but it's very overwhelming because, like, it kind of feels like a second job, and I already have, like, a one full-time job, and, you know, it gets kind of, like, aggravating sometimes, but, like, I find a way to, like, walk away from it for a little while, like, I'm a very busy person with my job, like, I'm a truck driver, so I'm, like, on the road, like, I do, like, 60 to 80 hours a week, Monday through Friday, 
but the cool way to like shut it all off is like I have a personal phone and then I have a social media phone and then I have a work phone. So uh, today we just got to Pomona. We stopped at the Target. I needed to get some stuff. Uh, or I need to get some stuff. So uh, took him out. Let him use the bathroom a little bit. Let him walk around. But I'm not the greatest dog dad. Like I really take care of him. I make sure he's fed. I take him on walks. I play fetch with him. I call him my love. You know, I'm so sweet. But the one thing that I don't pay attention to is like when he lays down, like I just washed him yesterday and he already laid down in a mud puddle or I mean a oil puddle. So yeah, he's a little dirty and I'm kind of frustrated because it took like 45 minutes to wash him yesterday. But he's doing his thing. He's living his own best life. Let's go. You got to get the good stuff, you know? What are we getting? Coconut yeah. oil, bro. Coconut oil. I only put good stuff in my hair, man. It's a miracle. Okay. I'm starting to lose my hair. They've been telling me for like a year. And I feel like my hair stopped growing, right? I haven't cut it in like a year. So I'm trying to like maintain it as much as possible. Uh, I need a hair dryer. I want the cheap one that can be broken. There we go. 16 Get options. 16 bucks, bro. I'm cheaper than my ex-girlfriend. Uh, yes, please. She's not that ugly, but I still need one. <laughs> How you doing? Good to yourself. Hi. Please. Did you need a protection for the blow dryer? It's $16. No, I'm good. <laughs> I literally bought it just in case it breaks. I break everything I buy. Even hearts. It's gonna be Dang, girl, what was more expensive, the hair dryer or the shampoo? It was the shampoo, like twenty dollars shampoo. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a great day. We've secured the package, so now I can do my hair. And I'm talking about the package. Uh <laughs> about having a dog is like every two or three hours you have to pull over so he can pee it's funny because like if you don't he'll like pee in the truck which he hasn't done yet but i know he will but what's funny is is he'll sleep all night eight to ten hours straight and not have to go to the bathroom and hold it all night but during the day not a chance and then he picks up random stuff off the ground yo why are you picking on my ex-girlfriend's weed bro leave that shit alone come on go pee Go pee. Bro, I just want you to go pee, bro. He's like, no, right now, man. I've been in the car too long. Water Why are you first. dropping shit, man? Can't trust that freaking door that opens on its own. This is all Rico's water, so now I guess he's going to be drinking rainwater for the rest of the day. Sorry, bro. Your filtered water is no good. <laughs> he's so adorable. So right now, we just now leaving Target, and we're heading to the Airbnb to drop off our stuff, and then I have a 12 o'clock appointment at the podcast. But we're going to go eat, probably going to go eat breakfast, a little late breakfast, and then go to the podcast, get that knocked out, head down to La Puente for Rancho Alegre Sport Western Wear, pick some clothes out for Pico, and do a little commercial for them and that's gonna be it and then probably tonight probably gonna go out I don't drink much but uh, I'm gonna go out and have some fun with some people that invited us out tonight in Riverside so I wish we were staying in LA but uh, you know what I, I kind of like the feel of uh, Riverside I've been there a few times it's a little further than Pico like it's about an hour away from Pico but it's well worth it because the people are genuine and cool and not saying that LA people aren't genuine and cool it's just really hard to get people to follow through with plans and at the same time I booked an Airbnb in like Pico area but they canceled on me last minute so Riverside's the next best thing you know you gotta do what you gotta do <laughs> I can't eat because there's no food that's under a 25 minute wait it's like 10 30 in the morning like what are y'all doing with your lives, man? I'm trying to eat food, you know? So if there's a Toxica out there that wants to be like my wife and cook me breakfast, then I'm ready for you because like chilaquiles be cool, you know? 
pero whatever you got, bring it. Anything else? No, that's it. All right, any extra sauces? Um, you want extra sauces? I'm already sauced. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, your name? Ben. You guys take EBT, right? Oh, no. I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> right now, we're in a shoe store here in the Moreno Valley Mall. You know, if there's any single Latinas out there, like I always shout you out because I think you guys are amazing. But let me tell you this I'll take you to the shoe store and you can buy whatever shoes you want, baby girl. Okay? You deserve the world. Look at all these shoes. This could all be yours. All you have to do is be mine. That's it. Damn, it was a long wait at the barbershop. They're still closed. So, I would've gotten a haircut. <laughs> I got you, brother. I got, I got you, bro. I got you. Now you're open. <laughs> long wait for a haircut. They're just dying to get in. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to the TikTok store. They misspelt it. Hey bro, I could just hang outside the soccer store. Guaranteed a Latina's gonna walk up there any moment. Vamos al baile. We've just arrived to the podcast space. I'm trying to get Rico out of the car. Come on. Hey, I I blocked you and you're not emailing me, I don't want it. Bro. <laughs> So toxic. And I don't get a letter in the mail within four days. <laughs> Something's me wrong. A mailing pigeon. I, yeah. I want to know it's real. Yeah, I want to know it's real. Potter style. Non-negotiables. You need to be able to take care of yourself because if you can't take care of yourself, you can't take care of a man. Then you can't take care of a family or a household. Uh, so by taking care of yourself, I don't mean eat healthy, but look healthy. You can have a girls' day once a year. I'm kidding. Stop okay. following. You can, have, Stop it. You, you can have a girls' night, girls' day, whatever. No, these What's girls are not. Don't make like it a goddamn habit. Oh. But I drove to Mexico in a rental car, a rental van. Oh lord, they they try to take your rental van? No, no, no. <laughs> I picked up twelve people. Oh, you were. Um, and I brought them back. Birthday. No, I did it for free. So we just finished the podcast. The podcast was awesome. We had some technical difficulties, so an hour and a half of recording was pretty much wasted. So we have to redo it tomorrow, hopefully. Um, right now we're headed to La Puente to Rancho Alegre Western Wear. Pick out my outfit for Pico and probably something for tonight, but for sure for Pico. Um, and yeah, then we're going to go out tonight in Riverside and maybe go to Moreno Valley. We'll see. Whatever happens, happens. But yeah, I'm pretty much on autopilot. It's been 13 hours that I've been awake already. So, and driving most of that time. So, kind of tired. But, uh, do it for y'all. And I do it for y'all. For free. Love y'all. Yes, he is. It's spicy belly. It's the carpet. <laughs> leave him. Leave him. <laughs> I thought okay. he was sitting down. <laughs> Rancho Alegre, Western Wear, killer job, killer job. Found the best outfit, a group that a Norteña there, uh, and they played amazing. I danced with Reef. Uh, I'm gonna say Reef. I, I, I'm not gonna roll my R on that one, just in case I mess it up. But I danced with Reef. I just met her. She's amazing. She's beautiful. Uh, very sweet. Um, but yeah, I had an amazing time. I'm, I'm, I'm really tired. Still got to go out tonight. You know, have a good time. 
I, I love to interact with my people. I'm not like shady. I'm not like fake. I'm a real, I'm a genuine person. And I'm trying to show people like there's real genuine influencers out here that just want to be human with you. Um, and that's just who I am. That's just what I want to do. So. So far, we've had an amazing weekend. I hit a podcast, messed up the first day, so we went back the second day, knocked it out. We went out to Riverside last night. Right now, we are in Baldwin Park, waiting on Pedro to show up. We're about to go to the baile, uh, Pico Rivera Sports Arena for Nortenissimo 2023. And look who it is, Pedro's pulling up right now. It's legit, it's happening. What is up, brother? Yo, you guys are gonna meet Pedro, and uh, let's do this. What's up, dude? How y'all doing? Good. How you doing, brother? Good. Nice to finally meet you. Yeah. This is mom, Pedro. Right Hola. Hi guys. Hi guys. Pedro. Anyway, we're about to go party. Nortenissimo 2023. Catch you guys later. All right, vamos al baile. Nortenissimo 2023 con Pedro. Vamos al baile. Ojalá que te mueras, que se abra la tierra y te hundas en ella, que todos te olviden. Ojalá que te cierren las puertas del cielo y que todos te humillen. Que se llene tu alma de penas y entre más te duelan, que más te lastimen. Ojalá que te mueras, que tu alma se vaya al infierno y que se haga eterno tu llanto. Ojalá pagues caro el haberme engañado aun queriéndote tanto Ese... ¡Pedro! ¡Pedro! La gente anda preguntando en qué trabaja el muchacho. La gente anda preguntando en qué trabaja el muchacho. No más porque traigo pesos y una trocona del año. Ando muy bien arreglado y uso sombrero de lana. Con una morra a mi lado y en la cintura una escuadra. Mi orgullo es ser potosino. She ain't rolling all by herself She just wanna fuck Pull up in the crib with your girls on my bed like Out in Vegas high All up in the wind fucking bitches by the window like She ain't getting tired Riding on my dick all night I'm hot now I can never flop now Probably getting guap now Made it off the block now Do it for my hometown Made it with my own sound Every single city you mention me Yeah they know now But I'm reaching for Cop the Bentley truck Used to ride on that bus Now I'm up Yeah my whole squad up Never gonna give up, rich as fuck. I could never hear diamonds in my ear. Say this clear, I could never fear. This gonna be my.
year, this my year, this gon' be my year, this gon' be my year, this my year, this gon' be my year, this gon' be my year, my year, my year, this gon' be my year, this gon' be my year, this my year, this gon' be my year, this gon' be my year, my year, my year. Kendall Jenner, your pockets just got light bulb. Flood my teeth, I'm sipping whiskey, my ice cold. New Roly Poly, that's 35 for that white gold. Chainsaw the beat, just got American Psycho. Hot now, that mean you should stop now. Pull up in that drop now, I click it, put the top down. Decepticon to Rory, just to show I don't the block now. Had to tint the window, she can't stop giving me top now. I'm rich as fuck, cop the Lambo truck, no boo pulling up, plate that up, dipped up out of there. Okay, we sing happy birthday in English, okay? Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Pedro. Happy birthday to you. Yay! <laughs> Para siempre, ok? Familia para siempre, ok? Vamos al baile. Hey, a dormir, vámonos. <laughs> ¿Cómo estás, chiquititas? We're right here. La birria El Tocoyo. Uh, yo no sé si I say it right, pero we're going to get some birria tacos. Thank you so much for loving me. It's Monday morning. We had an amazing time at Las Pico Rivera Sports Arena. We had an amazing time with Santa Fe Clan, with Los Huracanes del Norte, con Tornillo Vasquez. It's been an amazing weekend. Let's get some tacos. <laughs>